honey bees are a brilliant example of a basic law of existence, the golden rule, which is about reciprocity, or if you take, you need to give back. Honeybees give back by pollinating plants while they gather nectar and pollen to make honey. And according to Albert Einstein, without honeybees to pollinate crops, humans will die out in about four years. By 2007, the honeybee population had almost halved in England because of a mysterious contemporary ailment that causes them to suddenly abandon their hive. Colony Collapse Disorder, as it's called, has provoked some pretty outlandish theories involving mobile phones, cannibal bees, or even alien abduction. I decided to ask a scientist at the Natural History Museum if Einstein was right about his prediction. The scientist, who was more of a beetle man than a bee man, told me that actually there are 279 other kinds of bee in the UK, many of which contribute to pollination. There are bumblebees and mining bees and masonry bees, dwarf bees, leafcutter bees, and even a stingless bee. The scientist told me very plainly that Einstein was wrong, and if the honeybee dies out, we'll be okay. I left the scientist feeling glad that we'll be okay, but distracted by all those other bees that I needed to think about. I knew that honeybees probably weren't the only bee responsible for plant ecology, but I was focused on them because for thousands of years, people have been inspired by the way they live and work. For instance, how the worker bees explain where a good supply of pollen is by doing a little dance called the Wackle Dance. Looking for exactly when and where Einstein made his prediction, I pretty soon uncovered that he never did. It was a quote made up about 50 years after his death, an invented quote to add weight to a cause. Then I realised that even if we are ecologically okay without the honeybee, we will have lost something else. Because the history of the honeybee and its honey is part of the history of human culture, whether as a symbol for the French Revolution or as something to go with tea and cake. And so while scientists and corporations go on disagreeing with one another about causes and their implications, it's inspiring that a whole range of people are quietly making their opinions felt by taking up beekeeping. It says something about imagination and hope. And although science has predicted many things, it's never been able to predict what makes people hope. Because hope is unpredictable.